Jane Sassman here to talk to you about my new Free Spirit collection of fabric designs. It's called Flower Dance and it should be in your favorite quilt store, uh, ready to stitch up something wonderful in January. So I'm just going to turn the phone around and give you a quick tour of the collection. So the first fabric we see here is my Luna Lanterns designs. That's because it has a Luna moth and Chinese lanterns. And I was quite thrilled when I saw this for the first time to see how beautifully that the printers match the fabrics that I requested and to see it on this beautiful quilter's cotton uh, is always a thrill. Next we see a thistle design. This is a very uh, traditional design, especially uh, during the arts and crafts movement. Of course, I'm a fan of those kinds of designs. But in my thistle design, I couldn't resist adding a little spider. Now don't worry, it's a nice spider and he's very well behaved. So don't let him get in your way. Now we have zinnias. These are going to fuzzy cut beautifully. And some geometrics, always a perfect foil for all those flowers. Now we have a goat's beard. And every garden that I saw in England last year on my garden tour seemed to be growing goat's beards. But I hadn't had to add a little sassaman to this design as well by including a cicada because here in the Midwest, cicadas are kind of the star of the hour this summer. Now we have a jazzy stripe that is really going to spice up your quilting possibilities. And again, the zinnia, but this time in a larger scale. And it is really going to be nice for fussy cutting. In fact, there is a lot of symmetry in this whole collection. And as you know, any symmetrical design is just begging to be fussy cut. Now we have a very, very simple print. It's actually harder to design simple prints than more complicated ones. At least it is for me. Uh, sometimes it's hard to say no. But these simple prints always turn out to be my all-time favorites. Next, we have some stripes, and stripes are like a cheater cloth. You know, these are gonna be great for borders and bindings and sashings. And the good part is it's already there for you. You don't have to piece those stripes together. Next, we have the ginkgo leaf. And it was the impetus for this entire collection. In, in fact, the whole collection was built around this particular design. And the colors in this one are sprinkled throughout the whole collection. And those kind of contrasting colors really can create some, some wonderful excitement. Next, we have a swirly design, a blue on blue, so it will be like using a solid, but it will be much more interesting than just having a plain blue fabric. And a traditional, uh, simple print in a very small scale. And this little pop of orange sprinkled throughout the collection is really going to jazz things up. And last but not least is the Gazania design. You may recognize this design because I used it for one of my silk scarves. You can check it out on my website. But this particular version is printed as a mini. It's a very small print. And boy, you English paper piecers are just going to have a great time with that. So here you see the whole collection and I'm hoping you are as excited as I am about these designs. And I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with it. 
and I know I'm going to be <laughs> working on it uh, awake and asleep and we can compare notes in January. Thank you. Bye-bye.